Hello everybody, today we are going to continue practicing lesson 4.5, solving rational equations. First of all, remember that in solving rational equations, the first step that we have to do is to find the domain, the excluded values. In the second step, we'll find the LCM, same denominator for all of the, exp for all the fractions, for all the rational expressions. And in the third step, we said, we will remove the same denominator and we will work with numerators only. So let's see. Practice solving rational equations. So let's have a look. We have the expression left of equals and the expression right of equals. Now, here it's a fraction. I will make the first term fraction 2 and I will make the last one fraction 2. And now I will look for the domain of these uh, expressions, which is x plus 4, sorry, x minus 4. So denominator not equals to 0, x minus 4 does not equals to 0, from which x does not equals to 4. So the domain is any real number less the element 4. Now, we will look for the same denominator. In our case, the same denominator, it is x minus 4. So we take the fractions one by one in order and check where do we have it, and if there is not, I, we will make it. So the first fraction, denominator 1, we will do times, x minus 4. In the second fraction, already we have it, x minus 4, so we don't change. Next one, we have it, x minus 4, and in the last term, the denominator 1, so we will do times x minus 4. As we got the same denominator, we said remove the denominator and work with numerator only. So x times x minus 4, it will be x squared minus 4x, plus 20, equals 5x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 4, it will be plus 8. This is a quadratic equation, so we have to put it in standard form. It will be x squared minus 4x plus 20. 5x minus 2x is 3x. Move it on the other side, minus 3x. Move it, minus 8. It will be equals to 0. Now get the simplest form. x squared, negative 4x minus 3x, negative 7x. And 20 minus 8, it's a positive 12, equals to 0. Now, we will try to factor this quadratic trinomial, trinomial. And think about two numbers. When you multiply, their product is 12. And when we add, their sum is negative 7. And these are negative 3 and negative 4. So we can factor it into x minus 3 times x minus 4 equals to 0. Product it is 0 if at least one of the factors is 0. So maybe x minus 3 equals to 0 from which x equals to 3 or maybe x minus 4 equals to 0 which means x equals to 4. Now let's check the domain. We said that x it can be any real number less the element 4. So we got here x equals to 4, which means this is not solution. It is called extraneous solution. So it is solution for this equation, but not for the rational equation given. So the equation has only one solution, which is x equals to 3. So 3x minus 4 does not equals to 0. We look for the domain first, which means x does not equal 4 over 3. From the second one, 6x minus 1 does not equals to 0. 
which means x does not equal 1 over 6. The last denominator, it's the same the first one, so we don't have to write it again. From here, domain, it's any real number less the elements 1 over 6 and 4 over 3. The LCM, it will be 3x minus 4 times 6x minus 1. We go back to the first expression. So already the factor 3x minus 4, we have it. We don't have this one, so we will do times to balance the equation, 6 minus 1. The second expression, the 6x six minus 1, we have it, but we don't have this expression, so we will do times 3x minus 4. And the last one, we will do times 6x minus minus 1. So when we do the times, it will be the same denominator. We said we do not work with it, not anymore. We will work only with the numerator. And we have to distribute 2x times 6x, 12x squared, 2x times negative 1 minus 2x equals 4x times 3x, 12x squared, 4x times negative 4, negative 16x, plus 15x, it will be negative x, and 5 times negative 4, it is negative 20. And negative 3 times 6x is negative 18x, negative 3 times negative 1, it is plus 3. Now we get all in simply standard form, 2x squared, 12x squared, we can simplify by it. So we have negative 2x equals negative x minus 18x is negative 19x. Negative 20 plus 3, it's negative 17. So plus 19x, it will be 17x equals to negative 17. So x equals to negative 1. Let's see. x equals negative 1. It is different than 1 over 6 and 4 over 3, so this is solution. The equation has one solution, x equals negative 1. x plus 2, denominator not equals to 0, so x does not equal to negative 2. The second denominator, 2 minus 6, I will factor it and put it in, I will factor it that I can put it in standard form, which means I need this 6 to be positive. So I take the negative outside, common factor, it will be x minus 2. So I can say not equals to 0, then x does not equal to 2. And from the last denominator, x squared minus 4 does not equal to 0. This is difference between perfect squares. We can factor it x minus 2 times x plus 2 does not equal to 0. So from all, the domain is all the real numbers minus positive or negative 2. And that I can get the same denominator for the second denominator, I will take the negative outside common factor and it will be 1 over x plus 2. The negative outside, I will put it in the middle, so negative and negative, it will be plus 1 over x minus 2 equals 3x plus 8 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. The LCM, the same denominator, is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So I'm going to take the first fraction. The x plus 2 factor, we have it. It's missing x minus 2, so I will do times x minus 2. 
The second fraction, we have x minus 2, but it's missing x plus 2, so times x plus 2. And in the last fraction, both of the factors, they are there. We got the same denominator, then remove it and work with the numerators only, distribute, remove the brackets, 1 times x minus 2, it will be x minus 2 plus 1 times x plus 2, x plus 2 equals 3x plus 8. Simplify by negative 2, x plus x, 2x equals 3x plus 8 minus 3x it will be at the end x equals negative 8. And this is solution as long it is not equals positive negative 2. So first of all, we look after the domain of these uh, expressions. So 2x plus 1 does not equal to 0 which means x does not equal to negative 1 over 2. In the second one, 1 minus 2x, I will put it in standard form with the first term, the leading term positive, so I will take the negative outside common factor. It will be 2x minus 1, not equals to 0, from which x does not equal 1 over 2. And the last denominator, 4x squared minus 1, I will factor it, this is difference between perfect squares, and it's 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1, and this does not equal to 0. So already these two factors, we put them not equals to 0 before. So from all of them, the domain, it will be the real numbers minus the elements, positive, negative 1 over 2. So, as I said, I will take the negative from here, common factor, and I will put it into the middle. It will be 3 over 2x plus 1. So, take the negative outside and positive, minus 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 equals... 1 over 1, make it fraction, minus 8x squared over 4x squared minus 1. The same denominator, LCM, it's 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Now we check each denominator. In the first fraction, we have 2x plus 1, so it's missing 2x minus 1. So the first fraction, I will do it times 2x minus 1. The second fraction, denominator 2x minus 1, so it's missing 2x plus 1, so I will do times 2x plus 1. The next one, denominator 1, so I will do it times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1, which is, means 2x squared minus 1, 4x squared minus 1. And the last fraction, I don't do any change because already we have it. So we did the times to get the same denominator, then you can just remove it and work with the numerators only. Let's see. So we have 3 times 2x minus 1, it will be 6x minus 3. Minus 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1, it's 2x plus 1 squared. And this it will be minus... 2x plus 1 square, remember, binomial square, always three terms in the product, which are the first one square, which it will be 4x square, the last one square, which is 1, and then the middle multiply them all. 2 times 1 times 2x, it is 4x. 
So it will be minus all of this expression. I'm going to do it direct here. So don't forget it's a minus. So it will be minus all of it, which means minus 4x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 1 times 4x squared minus 1. It means 4x squared minus 1 and minus 8x squared. I will get both of the sides of the equals in the simplest and standard form. So this it will be negative 4x squared. 6x minus 4x positive 2x. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Equals 4x squared minus 8x squared is negative 4x squared and minus 1. Left and right of the equal sign, it's the same term with the same sign, so we can simplify by it. We isolate the variable, so it will be plus 4. So 2x equals negative 1 plus 4 is 3, so x equals 3 over 2. Now let's check if this is solution or not. We said the domain, it's any real number, less positive, negative, 1 over 2. And this is not, it, this is 3 over 2, not 1 over 2, so this is the solution. So, first of all, we will find the domain, denominator not equals to 0. Then x does not equal to negative 1. From the second fraction, x plus 5 not equals to 0, which means x does not equal to negative 5. And from the last one, x squared plus 6x plus 5 does not equal to 0. So when we will factor it, what times what is 5? And when we add is 6, it's 1 and 5. So it will be x plus 1, x plus 5, and already we have them, we put the condition for them. So the domain, it is all real numbers minus the elements, negative 5, negative 1. The LCM, as you can see, it will be x plus 1 times x plus 5. I take the first fraction. The denominator x plus 1, so it's missing the x plus 5, so times x plus 5. The second fraction, we have the factor x plus 5, but there is not x plus 1, so we will do times x plus 1. In the last fraction, we have both of the factors. Now we got the same denominator, remove it, and get the numerator in simplest form, 2x times x. 2x squared, 2x times 5, plus 10x, negative 3 times x, negative 3x, negative 3 times 1, negative 3, equals negative 8x squared. This is a quadratic equation. We have to put it in standard form, simplest form, standard form, which is ax squared, plus bx plus c equals to 0. So move the negative 8 on the other side. It will be 2x squared plus 8x squared, 10x squared. 10x minus 3x plus 7x and minus 3 equals to 0. I will take this one on the other side that we can see it clear. So we have 10x squared plus 7x minus 3 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. So we will try first of all to factor it. And to factor it, let's try the x method. So 10 times negative 3 is negative 37. Think about two numbers. When we multiply them, their product is negative 30, and when we add it 7, and these are 10, 
and negative 3. When we multiply negative 30 and we add it 7. And over AX, A is 10, so it will be 10X, 10X. Each fraction obtained, we have to get it in simplest form. So the first one, it will be 1 over X. The second already is simplest form. So then we can factor it into X plus 1 times 10x minus 3 equals to 0. The product is 0 if at least one of the factors is 0. So x plus 1 equals to 0 from which x is negative 1 or maybe 10x minus 3 equals to 0 which means x equals 3 over 10. Now we said let's check the domain. In the domain, we said that x it can be any real number less negative 5 and negative 1. And these two solutions, let's see, negative 5, negative 1. One of the solutions I found here, it's negative 1, which means this is extraneous solution. And the rational equation has only one solution, which is x equals 3 to 10. Thank you.